This week I have been reading the recently released PricewaterhouseCoopers Property Council Retirement Census. It's an interesting piece of research and it illustrates how different the experience is for Australian village operators compared to those in New Zealand. The PWC census is made up of a third of the village sector by size and it tells us that retirement village growth is in serious decline. Over the next 12 months, these operators will build just eight new villages with 800 new village homes. This matches our experience at villages.com.au where for each of the past three years we have had around 22 new villages list with us each year. The challenge is we need 55 villages a year if we are to maintain market penetration at 5 to 6 percent of all people aged 75 plus. Any less and we are going backwards. In New Zealand on the other hand where villages offer a continuum of care based approach they are already at 13% market penetration. Ryman alone is building 12 big villages with 2% vacant stock. Meanwhile the PWC census says the Australian village sector has 13% vacant stock. It's a message I've shared before but one all operators need to be made aware of. The Royal Commission into the aged care sector sets the opportunity for villagers to move to the New Zealand continuum of care and small home model. Only then can the sector achieve the growth needed to survive and thrive.